Thanks for checking out another one of my videos. I'm out here in the front yard because I'm going to wash off my bike and clean up the drivetrain. I don't want any dirt on the drivetrain because what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade from a cable operated one by drivetrain system to a ingenious new system from Archer Components, the D1X trail system, which is an electronic system that will fit any bike and any derailleur and comes in right now under $400. There's advantages to electronic shifting, which we'll get into as I install it. Um, and I'm going to show you the system because it's quite uh, elegant in its simplicity. So that's what we'll get to when we come back. Ah, the happy sounds of electric shifting. The two-button handlebar mount remote is for shifting and micro-adjusting each gear change. It takes one lithium-ion battery. The part marked D1X is the shifter which attaches to the seat or chainstay. It takes two batteries. You simply pair the remote and shifter and enjoy precision electric and wireless gear changing. The really interesting thing that the Archer Components D1X trail system is doing is it's using the existing cable shifting on most bicycles to operate the rear derailleur with an electronic activated shifter. This piece they call the shifter and this is going to attach to the chainstay on this bike. Some bikes it might attach to the seat stay and then this is the remote which goes on the handlebar with the shift buttons on it right here. This piece talks to the shifter through Bluetooth wireless technology and when you click the buttons this is what pulls on the shift cable to operate the rear derailleur. So you have a combination of electronics and the existing shifting system. But the cable itself is only going to go from here to here. You don't have a full length cable, you just have a short cable that we're going to install. You set up the shifter first. I've already installed the batteries you just unscrew this cap and put the two lithium ion batteries inside and it's going to clamp on the chainstay straps that are going to come through here and this little rubber uh, waterproof seal comes off and then if you look inside you'll see there's a little threaded screw in there then what you do is you put the cable into that little threaded piece and that sits inside in a little pocket and now when you operate the remote it sends a signal which turns that screw and that screw pulls the cable or releases the cable to operate the rear derailleur. Okay, now I have the two straps installed uh, that are going to attach it to the chainstay. These are actually made of a hard plastic material. And you've got the housing section here and the cable. So now it's ready, the batteries are inside, now it's ready to mount to the chainstay and set the, start setting the shifting up. I have the D1X trail shifter installed now on the chainstay. You can see the straps are here and I've trimmed them off. Also, you can ignore this. This is just the, the housing from the previous shift cable. Um, I just zip tied it here in case we ever go back to it. I won't have to reroute the cable. It's still inside the frame because it's all internally routed that housing. And now we have a short piece of cable housing and we have a really short shift cable now. It starts about here and it only goes to here. And of course the advantage of a really short shift cable is there's not a lot of stretch. The longer the cable, the more opportunities for it to stretch. This is a really short one, so it won't stretch or shouldn't stretch very much at all after it breaks in a little bit. And it's time to start setting it up. So I've turned it on and pressed and held this little button until the light came on. And I've got the Bluetooth on my Archer Components app talking to the shifter and it's asking me how many gears there are so I have an 11 speed bike so I'm gonna tell it I only have 11 speed. You can tell it however many you have in the future if you have a 20 speed rear cassette you could 
you could tell it 20 speed rear cassette but I only have 11 so we're gonna go 11 gonna hit next so now you actually configure the shifter to move the derailleur just far enough to hit each gear so I'm going to adjust the next shift hit the button and it didn't actually shift so we have to adjust the position so here it's starting to shift there we go we got it so now let's go to the next one see the red line moved over here now we're going to hit this one now it shifts now we'll go to the next one it's fine tuning it micro adjust until it shifts go to the next one there you go now a couple more The cool thing is how you can micro adjust every single shift. For the cable system, you don't have that option. There we go. Now we've programmed it for all 11 cogs. We should be able to shift by hitting these buttons. back up if we have any hesitation we can fine-tune it there's a number of selections micro adjust to make it move a little further you can do that to each gear. The app is for setting it up. You're actually riding, there's micro adjust mode with the remote on the handlebars. So you can actually adjust the gear if it's not shifting quick enough when you're riding the bike. That's how you set it up. So now we put the remote on the handlebar and check that. And here's what the remote looks like installed on the handlebars. Notice no cables now. There's two buttons, shift buttons, and then there's an LED light to show you what mode you're in. And then when you install it, you have three positions to put it in and of course you could slide the clamp around to get it exactly where you want it. Come down underneath you can see that the battery lives inside underneath. There's a door that comes off with two screws. One battery, one lithium-ion rechargeable battery. Nice clean setup. Alright, we're out here to take a little shakedown cruise. When you ride the bike, you turn on the shifter, you just press a little button here and a little light comes on. And then you, you press either one of the shift buttons on the remote. And that turns on the shifter. And then you're ready to start shifting. The bike's ready to ride. So we're going to just ride around a little bit and we'll shift it to the gears and see how it works. If you're riding along and you notice that a certain gear on the cassette is going clickety 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 and not shifting into or uh, hesitating to shift, you can put the system into micro adjust mode 
by pressing this little button right here. Um, when you press that button with your finger, it's easy to reach when your hand's on the grip. It puts it into micro adjust mode, the little LED on the shifter on the remote blinks orange. And then each press of the two shift buttons makes a micro adjustment of the rear derailleur. Each press moves the rear derailleur 0.25 millimeters closer or further away from the cog to help assist in whichever way the derailleur isn't shifting fast enough. It's pretty cool. You can fix little issues as you ride. You don't have to get off and mess around with the any adjustment. So let's say you're riding along and you click the button and it hesitates before it shifts. Click, 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 hesitating, it's not shifting. So when that happens, you hold the micro adjust button, the red light comes on and starts flashing. When it's in this mode, each press moves the derailleur a tiny bit. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. But then you wait for the flashing to stop, seven seconds. And then that shift. Is a little quicker. It's still hesitating. Hold the micro adjust. Move a little more. Wait for it to turn off. You've dialed it in and fixed the adjusting. With a cable system, cable only system, a standard derailleur system, the adjustment is made with an adjusting barrel on the back, and that adjustment tightens or loosens the cable, and that cable operates the entire shift range top to bottom. This is actually adjusting it for each individual shift because there are so many positions of the rear derailleur thanks to the screw that's pulling the cable. Boy, I have to tell you, I've ridden all the high dollar electronic drivetrains. I've ridden Shimano DI2 for years, and I've, I've worked a lot on ETAP, set up ETAP bikes and ridden ETAP bikes, and I can't tell a difference with this $400 system from Archer Components. The shifting is identical. It's quick, precise, quiet in gear, and it's amazing they can get such performance out of what's basically some pretty simple components and that will fit any bike. Use your cable shifting drivetrain you already have and upgrade it to electronic. I think it's extraordinary. If you're in the market for an electronic drivetrain and you're not sure, I mean this will be a great first step. You could try it out with your derailleur, with your cable system all the components on your bike you don't have to change your crank out you don't have to put on a new derailleur you just hook up the shifter and the remote pair the two and they're good to go and it would be a great experience for you and to see how e-shifting works also um, Archer Components has found that there are a lot of people with disabilities that benefit from electric shifting they can't operate levers so they operate buttons quite easily. If you can bump them with your head or your elbow or your shoulder and you're on maybe a hand cycle or maybe you're in some other type of lie down bike, a person like that has trouble shifting but with an electronic shifting like this they can shift no problem at all. Another ingenious thing is they've made a kit that goes on e-bikes 
and it actually attaches and plugs into the e-bike battery so you never have to recharge the batteries. They're thinking of a lot of unique ways to incorporate this technology to improve cycling. I'm quite impressed. I think you should give it a look if you're interested at all. Well, that'll wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, if you did, please subscribe, because there'll be more coming. And thanks a lot for your support.